A lot has happened since we last spoke. I want to quickly ask you about your reaction to the Royal Commission into Veteran Suicide. Well, firstly, I think it's, um, you know, very much uh, long overdue. Um, so it's, you know, fantastic that, you know, finally after all the barracking that's gone behind it by many people, um, that the decision's been made by the Prime Minister. Um, you know, we can't forget um, the amount of anguish um, for the partners, uh, the friends and families uh, of all those uh, who sadly have suicided, uh, you know, at any stage um, post or through their military experience, um, and all those also who have attempted. So the amount of people that have been affected um, by this, um, you know, tragic uh, events, you know, has been, uh, you know, many. So it's good for them now um, to start, you know, a final uh, phase of closure um, and, you know, to go through this process. It'll be a long process. Yep. Um, and it'll be, you know, extremely emotional. But, and, um, you know, it's fantastic that it's finally coming. And you must have cheered on Peter Dutton when he decided to reverse the decision of the top brass. <laughs> yeah, well, that was uh, long overdue as well. Well, it was a recommendation in many of our opinions that should never have been made. You know, we had 3,000 um, people that uh, were awarded the MUC who uh, served in the Special Operations Task Group, Task Force uh, TF-66. Um, so to tarnish uh, all of those 3,000 or to punish all of those 3,000 people um, over allegations of a few, um, you know, you've heard the figure, you know, the 1%, it's actually a lot less than that if you were to do the maths, uh, but it's an excellent decision uh, by the uh, new Minister for Defence yep. um, and we very much welcomed it. And the other thing that happened is that we decided to follow the United States and withdraw from Afghanistan. There are pros and cons in that decision, but of course we can't be there left alone if the United States walk away. No, you're right, Chris, we can't. But, um, you know, if you're going to make a commitment uh, in that theatre, and especially uh, Afghanistan, it's an extremely, extremely uh, complex uh, country and area to operate in. Um, so if we're going to be there, we need to be all in, uh, which, you know, essentially we haven't really been all in uh, since the uh, task force, um, the numerous task forces that uh, were withdrawn a few good years ago now. Yep. Um, so, you know, the contribution there at the moment, um, you know, although it's, you know, been... Uh, necessary and is probably strategic of nature. Um, you know, it's something that we either put a full task force back in there or we walk away. Yep. And, and that's going to cause also what a lot of people probably don't realise. You know, there's a, you know, a lot of lives, um, you know, that were lost there. There's a lot of other people that were affected, you know, through the, um, you know, it was our longest, um, you know, contribution to a conflict, yep. you know, almost 20 years. We had 40,000 odd troops rotate through there. So that's a lot of people who are affected by Afghanistan. So we need to also think how, you know, those decisions play out, these people, um, you know, now they've heard that decision be made. Yep. Very, very quickly, be, I've got you know, limited time, Wes, but I, I want to ask you a little bit about sure. Anzac Day. What will it mean to you? What will you get up to? Uh, particularly this year with the recent announcement, um, you know, I'll reflect more upon the second and third order effects. Um, you know, as we've spoken about, as in, you know, the people that are, um, uh, whose mental health has been affected, you yep. know, by the numerous conflicts. Um, you know, I also you know, ring in with a couple of close uh, widows, friends of mine. Um, myself personally, I'll attend um, the dawn service, the main dawn service at the Mother's Memorial in uh, Toowoomba. Uh, and then I go out to a couple of outlying um, uh, services uh, in some of the smaller or other uh, okay. communities within Darling Downs. Right. Uh, and then later that day, I might be speaking on uh, ABC Radio. <laughs> OK, all right. A bit of media at the end of the day.